Come in, come in, welcome, come sit down. You have your ticket, right? You bought one? Good. Yes, come in. Welcome to my circus. I am your ringleader, your lion tamer. The master of manipulation, I mean. Magic. And this is my circus of clowns. Me and my circus of clowns are here throughout the whole month talking about the clowns in your neighborhood, or should I say, YouTube, who have the most goofiest type of content that I want to talk about. We could talk about goofballs such as Foodie Beauty, the Ace Family, oh, what about the most hated trainer on YouTube, Vin? But today we have a very interesting act. Know you wanna party with a fat bitch. I was planning only to cover a few of this man's TikToks and then tossing it into my little bag and then rolling my circus straight on out of here. But audience, there is so much clownery that I couldn't just do a couple. So sit back, relax. It's time for the show. video is sponsored by me because when you get sponsors they tell you what you can or can't say and I personally don't like that so my protein donut company will be sponsoring today's video along with my workout programs. a free way to support this channel is by hitting the subscribe button and leaving a comment and did you know that I have a second channel subscribe to it okay Let's start. Paradise, an ideal or idyllic place or state. When you think of paradise, what do you think of? If you're religious, you might say entering the gates of heaven. If you're overworked, you might say the Maldives, Bora Bora, Hawaii. If you're anything like me, you might be saying a cold, dark alley occupied by a few forgotten clowns that I can bring into my clown family and pay a very obscene low wage while I make bank. <clears throat> Apparently, some people's idea of paradise is being surrounded by not clowns, but very morbidly obese, sick, almost immobile women. Oh yes, you two, meet Stefan. He's a proud supporter of the body positive movement. So much so that he created a whole palace, a safe space, if you will, for the morbidly obese woman. Yes, a paradise for the morbidly obese woman to be able to frolic and live free as much as they can. While Stefan, I'm guessing their ringleader, enjoys the frolic king. But what Stefan doesn't know is that I am the master manipulator. I am the master of magic. And the crowd cheers and is amazed by my this. Well, it's actually pretty quite simple and pretty damn basic, but they're so mindless, easy to manipulate, and quite brainless. They don't even know what's going on. It's very simple to take advantage of them, and I suspect that our friend, Stefan, is doing something similar. I suspect that this man is a manipulator himself. He's not a proud supporter of body positivity. He's a proud supporter of fulfilling his fetish of sickly obese, ahem, <laughs> sorry morbidly obese women while masking it with body positivity and these women have very low self-confidence they think this odd man is doing some type of favor for them when in reality honey 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 you are doing him a favor and tiddling his little wink a day and i will prove it to you because there's only one true master of manipulation here and it's not you stefan and by the end of this video you'll tell me is this man advocating for body positivity is he in the front lines of making uncomfortable conventional bodies be seen in a positive light or is he just trying to please his mini wand and fetishize them YouTube that's enough intro it's time for the main part of the show something that people do in this community that they enjoy is squishing usually small men want these big beautiful women BBWs for short to grace their laps while crushing them yeah I have a type B too so they both are relatively small men especially this one and Stefan is just wiggling with the excitement and then crush. I'm almost positive that both of these men are all about body positivity, making the world a better place for obese women as they get crushed by obese women, just fighting that unfair beauty standard from the comfort of their own home. Move over, Tess Holiday. These guys know how to do it. I don't wanna lose now. Ooh, this one really shows his love of body positivity. I'm looking right at the other. Butt cheek slap. Hey. Body positive. Can I interest you in some body positivity splish splash by the pool? Well, perfect. I'm glad I can because it is now pool time in the BBW paradise. Most likely to get pregnant. 
With stuff on watching and touching, of course. Most likely to be a porn star. <laughs> so body positive. Most likely to have the worst gag reflex. <laughs> Just so supportive of making sure that women's bodies that aren't conventionally attractive are respected. Most likely to watch porn. What? Ooh, I see a magic wand. I love magic. Let's see what type of magic he can do. I told you he sucks. This has to be the easiest magician to expose. Definitely not a magician. Definitely 100% a clown. I'm passing the phone to a guy who likes big girls. Yes, loud and proud, and in public. Are you agreeing with me yet? Not yet? I still don't have all of you? That's fine. We've got plenty to go. The show is not over yet. So you are probably very interested at visiting Stefan and his hair at his paradise. And since you are, let me show you some of the activities that you can join in. With Stefan, of course. Want to travel to BBW Paradise near Easter? Well, you're in luck. Hey yo, paradise Easter egg hunt. You can gather candy filled eggs with your host Stefan who will be wearing bunny ears and bouncing along with you as you gather your sweet little treats. You also have the possibility to take a trip to Vegas with Stefan. What will you be doing in Vegas, you might ask? Isn't it obvious? You'll be attending the Heart Attack Grill. Because if you are anywhere close to the size of these women, you are a sure prospect of having one at any given time. While Stefan stands over you and says, it's all for body positivity. So why not? It's fitting. You'll get weighed because if you are fat enough, you'll get a free meal to skyrocket you to that heart attack even faster. While Stefan watches, of course, look at her walk back as if she accomplished something. Which she did. I personally find it hard to lug around 400 pounds daily. That's a lot of weight and a lot of pressure on her joints. Sis must be a hell of a strong woman. For real, I'm not being sarcastic. Many obese people that I work with are extremely strong because they lug around so much weight all the time. But please don't have that motivate you to become 400 pounds. <laughs> There's that spanking again. Stefan is surely excited about this. And here's a treat that everyone's going to be interested in. There's group sing-alongs. Know you wanna party with a fat bitch. Even though in comments you're like cap bitch. Yes, YouTube, they have their very own theme song. Time you spend with me will be time well spent. And if I get on top, you know I'm leaving a dead. Oh, yes they will. And if you're Stefan, then that is no issue for you. In fact, it is invited. Know you wanna party with a fat bitch. So if you're interested in partying with a fat bitch, make sure to. Buy me diamond theme name brand ship. That was body positive. Whiny little dude. I'm concerned for your health. And think about my back rolls while they're touching themselves. Anyway, it's back to pool time. Are you large? Do you like to make big splashes in the water? You are in luck because it's cannonball check time. Paradise cannonball check. But most importantly, you're going to spend so much time with your host, Stefan, who is also a motivational speaker. Sorry, a TikTok motivational speaker where he points at words and smiles. Just because you're plus size does not mean you should be anyone's little secret. Find friends who love you just the way you are and never shame you. Don't be sus. Hang out with us at Paradise. So there you go, guys. Hang out with Stefan. There will be no body shaming, just Stefan showing his support the way Stefan does. Fun. certain body types above other body types is back to being okay now as long as the skinnier people feel bad about themselves and the fat people feel good about themselves. I am learning very much about this interesting circus that he is performing for us. So I'm guessing this is the body positive message that he's been talking about that he loves to spread. Pretty much regurgitating what many of the top body positive influencers say on their profiles while he awkwardly moves his body and points out words just so the very naive people will see this and think, wow, a man with green hair is our ally. Let's sit on him and let him throw us in the pool. <laughs> is that what your goal was, Stefan? Oh, I know it was. <laughs> 
Body positivity. You think I'm a fucking idiot? Telling somebody with obesity to just eat less and move more is like telling somebody with depression to just cheer up. Um, no, it's not the same. Because scientifically, it's about being at a calorie deficit and moving your body. It's a very simple concept now that many people refuse to put in their fucking brain. It's very hard to stick to those things because along with being obese, especially filling your body with chips, Buy my diamond premium name brand, chips, Easter egg candy, and having obscene amount of weight on your body and bones, usually depression comes with it. And being depressed makes it very hard to stick to moving and being at a calorie deficit. Anyway, Saban shows us how to help our morbidly obese friend. No, 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 not motivating them to eat healthier because eating healthier usually helps depression. He says get bigger furniture so that they can then still be fat and then be able to fit on a couch. So enabling them. P.S. There's nothing wrong with getting a bigger couch if you are a bigger person so that you can sit on a couch so you don't break it. But he did not mention one thing about having something to solve the problem. No, it's making everything bigger. Making them feel good. Slapping their butt. Me. Love sack sectional in deep for extra space and lifetime warranty, just in case they do break it. Commercial safe handrails for the pools for easy and safe entry and exit at any size and ability. I mean, he's not wrong, but this is very expensive. Why do I have to spend extra money because someone else lacks ability to not overeat? Especially if it's an issue that can be fixed. So I don't understand it and I most definitely will not be decking out my circus for seating that fits 1,000 pound women. Oh no, no. I'm way too cheap for that. I'm a creepy ringleader. But I also believe in health. Please take care of yourself before you come into my circus seating. You pay for what your booty breaks. But Stefan does understand. So if you're interested in Easter egg hunts, heart attacks, spankings, getting water thrown at you, and don't forget those Saturday night sing-alongs. Know you wanna party with a fat bitch. I know a place that you might be interested in that has lots of females and one guy ready to spread body positivity and heart attacks because he cares. Now if Stefan's BBW paradise doesn't sound like your cup of tea and you think that he's full of shit, he doesn't give a flying poop about body positivity and using these women to make his little magic wand quite happy. Well, I have the perfect place for you and look at that, you're already here. That's right audience, this channel. So hit the subscribe button, become a part of my show. It's gonna be a great one and I will see you guys next time. Plot twist, there has been allegations from multiple women who visited the Paradise House saying it is not a safe or positive space. Someone by the name Piggy Stardust came out and said Stefan lures plus size women in through a discord. Women were turned away for being not fat enough for him and there was inappropriate behavior from Stefan himself. <laughs> so the plot thickens my sweets, the plot thickens. I guess there will be a part two.